Om Shanti, today is the 96th day of your blessing, a meditative blessing where we try to understand that how we need to become powerful enough, strong enough to face any kind of criticism and if anybody tries to defame us, we still try to become like a divine being and still help them out or give them any form of help. So here God the Father reminds us that how God also has been defamed by us souls in this Kali Yuga. So we were divine beings at certain point of time and slowly, slowly over a period of time we took birth, we came down the ladder and today we have become completely impure in our thoughts and mind. That's why the condition of the world is known as Kali Yuga or the Iron Age where all the souls have become completely Tamo Pradhan. Tamo means a complete impure way of thinking, a complete opposite way of thinking from God. God has purity and truth and today there is no truth in this world. We say that complete Maya has become completely untrue. Complete body has become completely untrue because there is no pleasure in this body. There is no healing in this body. Many people are suffering today. So God tries to tell us that people have also become untrue. So whom will you depend upon? And why has that happened? Because we have defamed God. Let's see, let's find out what God wants us to do or what Baba wants us to do in this world today so that we can rise up from the smaller levels of thinking or and turn into a divine being and have an elevated thought process. So let's see. In today's blessing, Baba says, may you become like the father, like child, like father, like father, like child. So I am a soul, a child of God and I am the one who can show God's powers through my actions, through my thoughts and through my words. So Baba says, may you become like the Father and uplift those who defame you with the power of cooperation and make those who are uncooperative, cooperative. It's a very, very high elevated stage and that's what is the complete knowledge of spirituality or what God wants us to become. So let's go into explanation of this. Baba says, it is not an act of courage to be cooperative with those who are cooperative. It's very easy. If somebody helps me, I help him out. If somebody tries to push me away, I push that person away. That's what a normal human being would say. Or somebody who's become a Shudra. Shudra means somebody who's got impure or opposite way of thinking from God. Shudra is not somebody who's a cobbler or who cleans the toilet. That's not a Shudra. God says Shudras are those who have impure intellect who have got sinful intellect. So, Father uplifts those, so Baba says, who are cooperative. But just as the Father uplifts those who defame Him. Now, who defames God? We need to understand that we have been defaming God for a very long time. Just by saying that God is in everything and everybody, even in animals, God is there. Imagine, an animal kills the other animal, a human being kills another human being, or goes into theft or murder or burglary or any kind of thing. Can you say that God is inside that person? No. When there's a murder, we cannot say God is inside that person. When we see somebody who's a very divine kind of person, who's a divine soul, we cannot say God is in that person, but we can say God's qualities are in that soul. So there's a very big difference. We have said that God is in everything. So I'm sitting on this chair. Can I say that God, I'm sitting on God? Can I say that God is in the toilet? Can I say that God is in a gun? or in a missile which is going to destroy human beings? No. God is not in every place. That's why we say, Oh God, Father, and we look up. We say, we call upon Him. Please come down and please help us. Or take us into liberation. Where are you? Come down on earth. That's why we look up. So how can we say two different things? We say God is in everything and at the same time, when we call upon God, we look up. So we have been defaming God for a very, very long time. And then we say God is light and we have a symbol of light as Jyotirlingam or Shivalingam. We say that God is incorporated, doesn't have a body. Yes, Shivalinga is something, a symbol which has got no hands and legs. So that's a symbol of the true God. That's why we say Satyam Shivam Sundaram because God is truth. So true God is Shiva. Now we have done another mistake. We have said Shiv and Shankar are the same. That's the big problem. Shankar is the creation of Shiva. And when we put on the name or the title of father onto a child, you're actually doing what? You're defaming the father. So if my father is not given the due respect and I am called the father, 
so that is a very big respect on my physical father similarly on the non physical or the incorporeal father of all souls we have been defaming him by saying shankar and shiva are the same whereas both of them are different shankar is sitting in tapasya of shiva that means shankar is remembering god shiva so that he can get rid of all his vices that's why shiva shankar is known as devta and shiva is known as parmatma so this is another defamation which we have given to god but what has god done god says but just as the father uplifts those who defame him you children have to become like the father in the same way even if people defame us people make joke of prema kumaris they say how can two uh, husband and wife stay together with that purity we are staying in purity in brahmacharya even while living together because that's known as grahastha ashram so in an ashram you don't get into vices so if you want your house to become an ashram then we have to be in purity people make fun of that but we still accept it because that's god fatherly gift to us papa says no matter how uncooperative someone may be with your power of cooperation make uncooperative ones cooperative do not think that because of some reason someone is not moving forward even in this knowledge or in life also do not leave aside weak ones the ones who don't have purity or don't have strength to move forward don't leave them aside don't think that they are weak ones they got this problem so let them be is their problem no do not leave aside weak ones thinking that they are weak but give them power they might say something not so good to you while you are telling them the right things to do but at the same time it is your duty to do just like the example of a scorpion which was stinging the saint but the sting saint was again and again removing the scorpio from deep waters because the saint's work is to save and the scorpio's work is to sting but still a saint will do his work scorpio will do his work so simply over here do not leave aside weak ones thinking that they are weak but give them power and make them strong pay attention to this baba says and the jewelry of the service plans will become studded with diamonds so seva or service of other human beings is not just physical seva that you give money and all to them but to make them spiritually stronger mentally powerful is the biggest seva which you can do to others people because that's how they will become independent but if you feed them for a short time give them money you are making them dependent so baba says the highest service is to serve souls and make them purify it how tell them how to be connected to god and so that they can purify their past sins and become more pure and more light in their mind and do right karmas so pay attention to this and the jewelry of the service plans will become studded with diamonds that means there will be an icing on the cake not just the cake there will be a cherry on top of it also so that's an extra benefit that is revelation will take place is easily so we can reveal god only when we are able to accept and show divinity and show divine powers so god has come to turn us souls who have been defaming god because of becoming a shudra shudra means bad impure intellect and we are here and god is here to actually help us out to become deities or divine beings from shudras so why can't we do the same thing to other souls even if they disdain us or they look down upon us or they make fun of us so think about this a beautiful vardhan i leave you with this have a blessed day stay safe at home stay protected om shanti Thank you.